Let me move on to the next question. Question nine. I'm referring to this picture and the explanation I've given before that uh, photoelectric effect is Einstein's uh, revolutionary assumption that this interaction between uh, photo light and the electrons in the metal can be treated like a particle collision. The light is like a stream of particles, each of energy Planck's constant times frequency that's colliding with the electron. And the electrons in the metal, they'll have some kind of binding energy that we call work function. So in this model, it's really a simple um, conservation of energy that treatment that you are giving. It's gonna be the photon energy minus whatever energy was needed to free the electron. That's going to give you the kinetic energy of the electron that's been ejected. So it's, this question asks, estimate the binding energy of electrons in magnesium, given that the wavelength of, so this is going to give us the threshold frequency for the photon. Um, so this is the frequency at which we are going to have, um, Oh, I guess I actually already worked out. So the, the longest wavelength, the maximum wavelength that ejects an electron is related to the work function by this. So let me just solve that for the work function. And when you do, the work function is equal to, move it over, move that over is hc divided by the maximum longest wavelength that will eject of an electron, a photoelectron. So with that, let me just plug in the numbers. <laughs> I've gone done the detailed explanation in the other question. You can go take a look at that or, you know, read the description of the photoelectric effect in the section. So. Uh, Planck's constant, oh, you, you know what, I don't, there is just too many constants to plug in. So let me just use Wolfram Alpha. Because uh, uh, Wolfram Alpha is much quicker than I am at looking up numbers. So Planck's constant times speed of light divided by the maximum wavelength here, 337 nanometer. And let Wolfram Alpha look up all the constants and do that yeah divide by that and one of the answers is in electron volts 3.68 electron volts and uh, you know if you want you can also look up the const uh, this physical constant to yourself and do that but um, <laughs> i'll leave that for you to do not for me Okay, question 10, all right. Um, so this is still a photoelectric effect question. It asks, uh, estimate the work function of aluminum given that wavelength of, that's the long, okay. So it's the exact same question as before, just uh, with a change in what the maximum wavelength is. So now just use this, just change the wavelength. and 4.08 and this is one of the material properties this is something that you can use to characterize conductors so uh, i think uh, in the photoelectric effect lab experiment you're doing so you measure the work function of the photocathode that you're using and you are asked to find the uh, uh, try to come up with a reasonable guess for what the material is and you know for the photocathode that you have access to in the lab it's some proprietary material that's not any elemental metal. <laughs> so, okay, so this question is now a little bit more involved. It says this uh, is like photoelectrons with a maximum kinetic energy of that. Okay, um, that's a little more involved. So I think we may have to go back to this expression here. So, um, so what we have is uh, we have this relationship the uh, Planck's constant times the frequency, which is the energy of the photon coming in, um, which will be related to this with the, this wavelength, uh, minus the work function, which we'll be looking for, is going to give me the 
the maximum kinetic energy that we are given here. So the main thing that we need is um, we need to re-express this in terms of the wavelength. And this is where we use the relationship for all waves. The speed of the wave is given by the frequency times the wavelength. So solving this for frequency, I have C divided by lambda. So this uh, left-hand side here, I can rewrite it as Planck's constant times the speed of light divided by the given wavelength minus the work function is equal to that maximum kinetic energy. So all I now have to do is just solve this for the work function. So doing that, I'm imagining moving this over, moving the maximum kinetic energy over. The work function is equal to the photon energy divided, uh, not divided, subtracted maximum kinetic energy. So that's it. I think uh, I have everything in a form where I can plug the numbers into uh, Wolfram Alpha. <laughs> so I have Planck's constant times the speed of light, okay, divided by the wavelength of the light given, 400 nanometers. And this time I'm going to be subtracting the maximum kinetic energy, 0 0.8 to 0 electron volt. I think Wolfram Alpha will understand that. Um, yeah, double check that everything is as intended and good. The answer here should be positive. The way it's written here, phi is intended to be positive answer. So work function of the sodium should be 2.28 electron. Yeah, good.